wanted to show you a quick little video about the I.O. mount uh, Pro Clip that I installed in my Mini Cooper the other day. Let me show you. Here's the clip. It's installed between the two glove boxes of the Mini Cooper. The upper box and then the lower box. And as you can tell, it's got a funky shape to it. You can see that there's a a dome, a metal dome, and then this rubber um, magnet that's mounted to it. See, see that? So let me show you what it looks like when you put on a. There it is. And the cool thing is that it's like you can adjust it any way that you like this way boom just a quick twist up down however works best for you now to remove it is kind of the tricky part you can't just pull out like that because when you do look what happens the whole thing comes off so what you want to do is you want to kind of pull it to the side like so and it kind of um, orients itself pretty easy because it's got a really strong magnet once you um, install this circular disc on the back, the stick-on disc. Just stick it on there, you're ready to go. Twist it if you want it in that orientation. This way, say the person in the passenger seat um, wants to view it all they have to do is just slide it over by the way I had a good mail day today can't wait to open these packages to see what's uh, in them to review but anyway that is the IO mount pro clip it's very easy to install it took me about oh took me longer to read the instructions than to install it it uh, it doesn't require any modifications to your car. You just have to wedge this little top piece between the two glove boxes. And then uh, you can't really see it. There's another clip that just kind of like um, clips into the bottom of the glove box. No tools required other than the little tool that's um, included with the IO clip that um, helps you spread the, the area here between these two. Uh, pieces of your car, but it doesn't hurt anything. Um, that's the IO mount, and um, I think it's going to be a keeper. I really like it. It's going to come in handy for trips using the uh, GPS. There you go.